Hello again. Hey, uh, for those who uh, know who I am and for those who don't, um, introduce myself uh, again. Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Me Dion painting, which is the newest painting out there of uh, Leonardo da Vinci works that um, I've been doing for over five years. This uh, image in which you see is one of Leonardo da Vinci's works, uh, along with this one here. And this one is actually the arm of mine that I will show you later. But I'm going to pull this down just a little, which I have preset, and let you know about the monkey that goes across Leonardo da Vinci's artwork. This looks like a monkey and face with the ear. And uh, it's also many other things, but uh, that's the main primary thing that we recognize is <laughs> easier for what Leonardo da Vinci does. And I call this the Statue of Liberty uh, because this is actually has the little lines which runs around the face and which goes to the body, and it has wings. Right now it's pixelized pretty heavy, so I will shrink it down when it, after I do my um, little demo for you for you to see. Now, when I go to pull this down, I want to kind of give you a little general what's coming here is that you're going to find that uh, it is in the works of one of his works that runs across here. You're also going to find out that um, in, in his works, you're going to see the monkey that goes from here and goes across, lays on his shoulder, lines up in here with his glasses, also designs around here and goes off the screen. This is only one area of it. There's many others, but this is the only setup in which I have. Let me start it at the beginning, as you see where the monkey so happens to be. And you're going to see a match a little into this area here that just flows perfectly with his glasses. Now I'm going to hold it there for you to see. And then I'm going to pull it down, and you can see the outline with his glasses. Now... His glasses are here and here, even though there's an eye here and an eye here with lips, because it's also shown the woman in it, okay, because it's man and woman, okay, it's a bi, now, or it's a stylist. And then when you run this across, as you see, you'll see the, the shadows, Now I'll hold it here, the shadow is within, it also turns into his face with a cool looking haircut. Now, when you end up in that area and you float right to the right, right to the back of his neck area, right here, you'll see the eye and the eye, and how the chin and the nose, whoops, matches within here. Now, if I hold it right there and I pull it back down, you can see the eye and the eye and the nose. You go across again, even further, and kind of hard to slide sideways so you got to forgive me um, you'll see that when he reaches the other side here's the here's the eye and the eye and the nose but you'll see the curvature running through here so when I hold it here here he is you pull it on down you see how he fits see he's got the same hockey stick look hockey stick look. He fits 100% more clear than the others. Sometimes the images do come out uh, able to know. But it, with the study of 10 weeks, uh, 10 hours a day, when I originally started off on uh, over five years ago, uh, well over five years ago, on this issue, um, I got nowhere until I found out how he does his settings. It's very, very difficult. He's, he uh, make an M into every single alphabet that you can imagine. Here's the I and the I and the outline. You pull it on down, and he uses the break in within here to work for the break in here. Okay, so when you got that, that comes across. And here, he matches again. You can tell because he hot gives you a three point or, or sometimes a one point. And, then, and uh, he fits within this area. You can see the little ridges in which he gives of some of the markings. 
and you slide this across again, here's another marking in which he puts. That's where the monkey is. Some of these little things in which are out here are marking into this. And then when he goes across a little even further, you see that his nose is off the chart, but his eyes are still within the chart, and that's where he is. Now, I know that if you get him in the right area, here you can see the outlined shadow of the hands. If you look at the, sh sh the, the hands here when he's on the back, you, you pull it on down and you can see the outline cut running like his hands run. You see what I'm saying? You see, you pull it down and you see these out, the, 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 this is kind of like a blob, let's give it, but you can see that there's works that went this way. So, and that is his works. It's very difficult to see. Now, when you also see this line, this, this one dark line and the long line, the dark line matches much clearer when you line it up on his shoulder blades at the exact angle. So you pull it on down and you'll see the angle. You pull it on up, you see how it fits. But here comes something that you'll need to see when you go to go the image like this, if you can really see the shadow of the background that you don't see here, this is a face. You see that face? So when you put the face is that it's either himself or his lover is in the background that he's, that he's seeing that he puts throughout the whole painting. You can see him in the background. What he does is imagine transparencies of, of many, many transparencies. Let's say you had a hundred transparencies of a puzzle and you, each one was a puzzle piece of each transparency that fit in a certain dot. So when you lay down the first one, you got the certain green, but sometimes he would, he would end up with a vis, invisible type ink in which you wouldn't see unless you penetrated through the other and he keeps overlaying these things or he would lay the main one down that isn't transparent and then the upper ones are transparent enough to where it will add or show up more with the other one over the top to give it its little markings And we're not talking about one image. We're talking thousands of images. These little micro dots, which in, in the TV business or uh, the display business of, of our electronics, pixels. And his items are smaller than pixels that turn into the portrait of the Mona Lisa. So I know this is kind of quick and hard for those. Um, I, my father was a television repairman. And uh, so I'm pretty up on uh, some of the uh, uh, things, but uh, technology has changed. When you get into actual uh, film and, and you get into um, digital and you get into um, projection, things change again. And you got to remember that anytime you take a photo and you go over to one store like Costco or you go to Walmart, you go to Kmart, or you even use your own, well, whatever uh, copy machine you go to use, um, it's got uh, a different program inside to spit out a different color. So each program of one of these images is ran through with me regarding trying to get uh, certain images out. So I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to show you one of my next YouTubes coming up of the same similar effect on one of these that's going to be under a different type of um, look to see what other images. And it's going to be of this one, this particular one right here, which is going to be this guy, okay, instead of, and he's really yellow. and. Uh, instead of this guy okay so we're going to play some some kind of games to see what's in there and this particular one in which i just pulled up is actually an x-ray of what's underneath the mona lisa which also my painting is in and i've shown that on some of the other youtubes so 
I want to say, hey, God bless the whole world, the universe, the heavens. Thank you for uh, giving me a thumbs up. Uh, I'm looking for getting a GoFundMe page going, and I'm also got a bunch of Camaros for sale. So uh, send me a comment or an email or something or some kind of contact or how uh, to do program. I'm not really hot on understanding YouTube. Uh, YouTube is a, a very uh, great um, uh, company. Um, problem is, is there's just something I'm missing. Uh, I put uh, that uh, is trying to get it out there. Um, this is all uh, history, fact, art, beauty, um, teaching, and anything else you can think of. It's actually turned me more stronger and more religious in the sense of that a human being himself can do such great things that was of God's great uh, giving. Again, uh, God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. And you have a beautiful night. And uh, we're here uh, waiting um, uh, uh, for the uh, fires to blow over. We're in uh, Roanoke Park. So um, we're having a, a fun time uh, making sure that everybody stays safe. So you do too. Amen.